My name is Diamond and I'm a junior at Lake Mead Christian Academy. When I was in middle school, I enjoyed that even at a young age like that, the teachers were still there to support me and spur me on to be something better than just what's expected. I was pushed to be able to use my abilities and my creative skills to the fullest that I can. Because of the result of your love for him, like you'll want to obey him. You'll want to do what his word says because you love him so much and he loves you so much. I came from being homeschooled, so um, this was a big school to me, even though to most people it's not. And I f liked that I felt very welcomed and um, within the first day I wasn't intimidated by anything. I like it a lot better than um, public school. It's a lot Why is that? Because um, you can, there's teachers that, there's not as many kids and more kids, less time you have for like, teachers can spend time. We are here, stuck with people who need help. People are dying from malnutrition and sickness. They need help. We need help. This is missions. So Meaning? Um, it's a class where we, we basically go into history of missions and how to be better missionaries, you know, um, short-term, long-term trips and how to plan trips, how to um, learning about key historical figures and missions and stuff. You're angry and can you read up to that? Be angry and hold your sin, but do not let the sun go down on your anger. Let the thief no longer steal, but rather let him labor, doing honest work with his own hands, so that he... Well, that's our homeroom and junior high Bible class. For seventh grade, we're going through the book of Proverbs. It's a study on just the entire book of Proverbs. And then intertwined with that are key scripture memory passages. So today we were doing a, a review game over our scripture memory because it was a big three verses and it's just a competition that we use to make sure that they really know those verses and can remember them for a long time. Uh, Father, thank you so much for today. Thank you so much for the opportunity that we've had just to kind of have fun going through your word, picking it apart. Uh, give us a blessed rest of the week and a blessed rest of the day. In Jesus' name, amen. All right.